Yo, what is going on guys? Uh, we have the final wind breathing move, Dust Storm. Sneak peek, which isn't really necessarily a sneak peek, it's a full showcase of the ability, guys. In today's video, we're gonna talk about some changes that may need to be made and what needs to be used to complete wind breathing. So let's actually go ahead and watch the full footage of the showcase. We can also see the new map as well in the background. Now my first concern when I saw this is seeing how long it takes to charge up. But then actually when we see that he goes into the battle, you know, it actually is pretty quick. So the move activates fairly quickly. It's a massive AOE. So we can use it on multiple targets. The question is, how much damage does it do? I would assume anywhere between 20 and 40 damage. Anywhere between 20 and 40 damage. Um, it's definitely going to be a guard break. I, um, I'd hope. If it's not a guard break, then wow, that's pretty yikes. If that move isn't a guard break, that's pretty yikes. Um, but we can obviously see that this means that there is likely not going to be an evasive, which I'm really hoping for. All he would have to do is add an M2 to either Pure Flying Claws and Whirlwind Cutter. Okay, that's all he would have to do. Now, Mountain Wind seems to be a decent ability. But he needs to make the charge up slightly slower, slightly slower, because I believe it is possible to do it with a true combo uh, for combo extension. But we can see here that this ability is pretty good. It's pretty quick to activate. Hold on. <clears throat> it's pretty quick to activate and then it also likely does 20 to 40 damage. Um, it's obviously an AOE. So if you're getting teamed on or there are multiple people chasing you. Uh, you'll be able to run away. Let's actually watch the clip one more time and see how long they're ragdolled for. You can see how long they're ragdolled for because their names will turn. Uh, I guess their names don't show that. So how long, the question is, are they on the ground? Okay, they just died. Okay, so we can see. Boom. So yeah, he ends it too quickly for us to tell how long they're ragdolled for, but that could be mean really big money, uh, depending on if you're getting teamed on and you're trying to run away. So that's that's going to be definitely something interesting to look out for. Um, the blood splatters is actually pretty cool. It's uh, literally a realistic um, representation of the actual anime move. So let's actually go ahead and show you guys the anime move so you get some better reference. Right, so here's the actual sh anime move shown in the anime. So you can actually see here. It's quite literally, you know, he does a charge up, boom, the tornado comes in, and literally they all get ripped up. After the move is done, you can quite literally see blood splatter pouring over him. So it's quite literally a pretty good move. Like, I'm not like, hey, Rogue Demon, you've been upsetting me lately. This is a pretty good move. This is a pretty good move. This is a pretty good move. I'm just, you know, because based off how long it takes for him to do that, Based off how long it takes for him to do that move, you could be able to like M1 somebody and go directly into it. Or hit him with Mountain Wind or Purifying Claws or Whirlwind Cutter and they wouldn't be able to get out. So that's cool. It's actually true. It seems to be true. The next question is you can see right here at the bottom his HP is NAN. Meaning that he's likely not full HP, meaning that you're probably going to have to be below 50% to use it. And I'm not going to lie, I hate ultimates like this. Why do you hate ultimates that require you to be 50 HP, Xavier? Well, look at look at Sound Breathing. Probably one of the strongest movesets, top three, easily. I think, I think when it comes to movesets, honestly, Thunder Breathing might not be number one. It might go to Beast. Just for the fact that you can infinite, infinite combo. And bro, you can literally use the evasive as a combo starter. It's quite literally broken. Like it's broken, unbalanced, need to be, it's that bad. So Beast goes number one. Number two goes to Thunder. Not because, because th Thunder and Sound, if you fight head on against the Sound and they're both skilled, you're going to get cooked by the Sound. Sound is very strong, has a very easy one combo, um, a very low ultimate cooldown you know god speeds kind of coin flip a little bit sometimes if you put them into a wall they can fling away or they can use block tech or this and that there's so many things that could go wrong they hit that musical score m2 you're cooked that's 48 damage 40 i believe it's 40 50 something like that it's it's a high amount of damage and then it's low cooldown so sound breathing goes number two for me when it comes to straight 1v1s now and obviously in like team battles this and that i would go thunder 
just because you're allowed to escape easily, you're allowed to use AOE attacks, sixfold to get away more. Like, you know, because when you sixfold somebody, you're airborne for two, three seconds. That's five HP that you're healing from the moment you activate that sixfold to the moment you're back on the ground. Um, so sound breathing would definitely go in the number two spot, and then it would go thunder breathing in terms of overall top three strongest movesets. So this is a little bit interesting. If they add an evasive to the M2, they lessen the startup time to Mountain Wind. We're potentially looking at a pretty god tier moveset here. Let me know everything that you guys are thinking in the comments below. I'm going to end this video here. And we can also see the map. Now, I'm personally not impressed because I believe this is exact same map. This looks literally like the swordsmith map that we played on it looks like a mixture of the swordsmith map and there was another map we played on which was like it, it had this big what was that map the hontangu map that whole area it was like this huge center platform like a huge stone thing where you could just like kind of like an arena circle and then all around it was these little things you go to so it does look like a mixture of maps that we've already experienced but i mean i'm obviously happy to be able to fight in a new environment and i just realized something i just realized something that i didn't state earlier the reason why that those um npcs disappeared into blood that's the finisher he added in finisher so if you're low enough hp that is the finisher that's a <laughs> like I just realized that. So see how they're put in and they're not obviously low enough HP to die. They just fall back down. So that that right there is the finisher. So that's actually sick. So we actually went ahead and added a finisher as well to the ultimate ability. So that's pretty fire. I didn't notice that until now. So I just woke up. To, uh, it's kind of late. Well, it's not too late. I woke up really early, but then I went back to sleep to try to catch up on some sleep since I've been. <laughs> on low sleep but yeah that's the finisher that's the other thing and when it comes to the maps honestly it's like um we, we've we've obviously you know i'm, I'm serious i'm gonna push it again add map rotations man add map rotations look uh, there's look the biggest concern that would be when adding map rotations is if you have like five physical maps inside of the inside of the game of each server you don't need to do that bro you can script it to delete the current map replace it with the new one and players spawn into that one you know what i mean it might take like a little 30 second one minute intermission for the script and everything to be functioning and perfect but dude it will change the game map rotations man map rotations please add it you know like i said i'm happy either way to be able to fight in a new map but seriously bro map rotations would be really really killer and like I said, obviously adding an evasive on the M2 of Whirlwind Cutter and the M2 of Purifying Claws would be fire. And then also with Mountain Wind, that would be just, you know, make the startup time a little bit slower, speed up the animation. And you're like, oh, why are you trying to make wind breathing really strong? It, first off, it wouldn't make it really strong or a god tier moveset. It wouldn't make it a god tier move set, but what it would do is just balance it to what's already out there. You know, I think that we should. I think that as a as a community, we should be pushing. You know, with wind breathing out, we have a lot of time for the next move set. There's really no rush into getting the next move set out. But I think it's incredibly important that we try to push the other move sets being balanced. You know what I mean? Like in move, you know, should be a little slightly buffed here and there with specific things. For example. For example, the uh, sleep tool, you know, that you have to hit three in a row. It should probably be two. You know what I mean? The ultimate should be probably increased a little bit of damage since you can literally dash out of it before you get hit again. Um, unless you're in a corner. And even I think in the corner, there's like a little bit of spacing um, time that you're no longer stunned and you can get out of it. So it's not even a good ultimate at all. And then you have Tamari. Don't get Tamari strong. I, I was talking crap. Tamari is strong. You do have to be good at M1ing since there's not really good guard breaks. The only guard break is play ball and the last um, ball of the Tamari combo move or the ultimate move. And both are pretty easily like you could parry the play ball and send it back at them. And then all you have to do when it comes to the ultimate for Tamari is dash directly behind them right before they throw it. So, you know, um, 
but you have to be pretty decent at um, M1s, but other than that, it's a pretty strong moveset. I think when it comes to genuinely weak movesets, I'd say Nezuko's up there. Now, it might confuse you because, you know, you can do some devastating damage with Nezuko, but if you have the right play style, you'll never lose to a Nezuko, bro. If you have the right play style, it's wraps. Flame breathing. Flame breathing is strong enough. It, it's good. Even though it doesn't have a 100% one combo, you, you literally have the ability to insta teleport meaning if your player is not constantly blocking your opponent you could just start off combos pretty simply so i'm not gonna lie the game isn't too too unbalanced there's not many things that need to be buffed i'd have to look at it hontangu strong that doesn't need to be buffed in fact it might mean it need to be nerfed for example the ultimate should probably be nerfed to about 30 percent hp and even then it would still have a vicious one combo either way um yeah hontangu is strong so there's not many movesets that need to be um, changed, but I might end up making a video on what balance changes should be added just to make every moveset around equal. I don't think Ahmed necessarily wants to make it based off strength and, and ranking of Hashira. Otherwise, you know, certain movesets would be significantly stronger than others. And, you know, that's clearly not the case. But I'm in this video here. Enough of my yapping. Let me know everything you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for daily content, updates, peak, everything. Everything peak. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.